Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 60th VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use Listbox ActiveX controls. Uh, so I've shown you how to use Listbox uh, Listboxes on a user form and the concept's pretty much exactly the same. So I'm not going to go as much into them as I did on the user form tutorials about 10 tutorials back. Um, but I'll show you how you would use one as an ActiveX control because they are slightly different. So let's say we want to keep this the same and we will still want to have our apples, our pears and our possibly spelt correct but possibly not mangoes. Uh, and we want to put them in a list and they select which one they like from the list. So go to insert uh, and then we want to find our list box which is here. Uh, and then just drag it across and fill it in like this. Then we go into our properties and to set the list, we're looking for our list fill range. Uh, and we're just going to put in a normal XL range. So I'm just going to put in K2 to K5. K2 to K5. Uh, and I'm also going to call my list box uh, fruit underscore list underscore box. Uh, and now you see that it's populated our list box with different fruits. So when we come out of design mode, we can just select one of them like this. Uh, if we go back into our properties, uh, we can do uh, quite simple things. We can use a link cell. So let's say we set this to H1. Uh, and then come out of design mode. And then when we select something in here, it's going to put it into a value of a cell. Uh, and alternatively, uh, we can actually go into our submit, uh, take this out, and we can reference it. So let's say we want to put message box, your favorite fruit is... And then this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot fruit underscore list underscore box dot value and say so let's just use an underscore to make that go onto the next line. Um so this is going to reference for for us the value of that list box. So let's close off our editor and come out of design mode. So let's select pairs and click submit. But sub, sub, submit. <laughs> uh, and then your favorite fruit is pears. Okay. And then we select apples. Your favorite fruit is apples. Mangoes. Your favorite fruit is mangoes. Uh, so very easy to use, a very useful way of making sure people are selecting what you want to select without using horrible drop down menus everywhere. It's a lot better for big, bigger, larger lists uh, and just generally more user friendly. Uh, so that's it for list boxes. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use spin buttons. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.